Hi, welcome to Greeklish Outdoors. Today we're looking at a Danish military combat ration. So, stick around. So this is a Danish combat ration. We have got menu number 18, which is curry. It is produced on the 30th of August, 2022. It says for the military only, not for resale. So on the scale, the ration weighs 1,425 grams. So first of all, we've got one of our main meals. This is chicken, curry and rice. We have some fruit muesli, some beef jerky, a lemon flavored cake, some roasted and salted cashew nuts, some apricot jam, an apple, banana and strawberry fruit puree, a cereal bar, a protein bar, some tuna with sweet chili, some mackerel in tomato sauce, some Ardennes pate, some Brussels pate, some strawberry jam, some hazelnut spread with cocoa. Something feels a bit greasy in here, like something has leaked. We have a 72% dark chocolate bar, 25 grams, a box of matches, three packs of whole grain biscuits, two packs of whole rye bread, some spicy sauce, a cocoa drinking powder, a instant soup mix. We have two separate bags which are wrapped up. The first one is a very large Ziploc bag and it contains two 25 gram bags of raisins and two drinking powders. One raspberry flavour, one peach flavour. And then our second bag, two green tea tea bags, three wet wipes, two packs of sugar, three packs of Colombian freeze dried coffee, three packs of gum, each one containing two pieces, three packets of salt, three packets of pepper, three toothpicks, two wooden spoons, and a toothbrush. So including those Ziploc bags and the two elastic bands, that is everything that comes in the Danish 24 hour combat ration. So it's time for breakfast. We're going to try the fruit muesli, the whole rye bread with apricot jam, the Brussels pate, this fruit pocket, which is like a fruit puree, some of the chocolate, the chewing gum, and a nice cup of green tea. So first off, let's get the tea on. This muesli. So that's what it looks like inside. Just some muesli, powdered milk, I am going to be using one of their bamboo spoons. Usually I find these are pretty crap. 
almost like those flimsy plastic spoons you often get in rations. But this is what the soldiers might have to use, so we're going to use the same. Right, we'll leave that to rehydrate. There's the rye bread. Can we get the pieces apart? So yeah, two nice pieces of rye bread. One of which we're going to use with the Brussels pate, one with the jam. First up, the pate. Smells like a nice Brussels pate. The spoon goes into it very easily. It spreads very, very well. On the other piece, let's put this apricot jam. Spread that nicely on there. So let's try this Brussels pate first. A nice smooth salty liver pate i do think the rye bread is a little bit overpowering for the pate but you can still taste it yeah that's very good now for the jam look at that nice glisten with the jam Mm. that goes much better with the rye bread that tastes really nice very sweet tons full of apricot flavor in there plenty of energy in this too I give that a thumbs up right so let's try this it's apple strawberry and banana puree Gonna put a bit on a spoon for you to see. Whoa, that's soon plopped out. There you go. It's not the most appealing colour. It does look a bit like diarrhea, but we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, just tastes like a basic smoothie to be honest. Quite a nice addition to the ration. Getting some fruit, some vitamins in with this. Yeah, doesn't look the best, but it tastes pretty good. Right, let's give this tea a go. Yeah, a nice basic green tea there. Really nice and light and refreshing for the morning. Let's take a look at this chocolate. So they give you a 25 gram piece of the Orifo 72% dark chocolate. So no blooming whatsoever. Let's take a little bite. Mmm. A nice, smooth, rich, dark chocolate this is a real good morale boost to have yeah I really like that that's very nice chocolate to have in a ration pack right so let's try this fruit muesli mm. really creamy sweet Some nice oats and seeds in there. A hint of fruit flavouring, but it's very, very mild. There are some little pieces of fruit in there, but they seem to get overpowered by the overall creamy flavour. But I'm not complaining. 
If I had this for breakfast, I would be very, very happy. Got a good bite to it. I think I personally, for me, I left it the right amount of time, about five minutes to rehydrate. Hmm. Definitely gives you a dura workout, as muesli often does, but that is extremely tasty. And let's try this extra mint orifo gum. Wow. So I didn't expect that. They are bright green inside. And they kind of do have an extra mint flavor to them. Nice, strong, minty flavor. Really, really wipes your palate clean. I'm gonna finish this off. I'll bring you back in a bit. So now we're gonna try out a few of the snacks. We're gonna try this Colombian freeze-dried coffee with a bit of sugar. We're gonna check out this protein bar and cereal bar. We'll try some of the raisins and also the roasted salted cashew nuts. First, let's have a quick check on this antibacterial wipe they give you. It feels extremely wet, which is great. It doesn't really have a citrus smell, but it's very wet. It doesn't really have a citrus smell. Let's see how it's not very strong, but it doesn't have to be. It's just meant for cleaning your hands. So first let's make this coffee. Cunt. So this is the cereal bar. It is caramel flavored. You can see there it's got Rice Krispies, some fruit, some oats in there. Let's give it a little try. There's definitely a strong caramel taste, very pleasant very sweet I think these actually might be chocolate chips in here as well you can taste the oats and the rice krispies it's actually fairly light not very heavy tasting which is good but packed full of energy in there about the protein bar which is cranberry flavored Whoa. It is a two-tone colored cereal bar. I don't think I've seen that before. It smells very strong of fruit. Again, I'm sure there's oats in there as well. Let's try this. Mmm. A little bit more dense than the cereal bar. A slight, almost strawberry taste, to be honest. Very sweet, nice acidity from the fruit. Yeah, very pleasant. Let's check out these raisins. As you can see there. Nice colour. Let's give these a try. Lovely, sweet raisins. Again, packed full of energy. A really nice snack on the go. And finally, let's check out these cashew nuts. Nice little hiss as they open up.
can feel the salt on these. I love cashew nuts. These are perfectly salted, full of healthy fats and some proteins. Have a couple with the raisins. Yeah, a perfect snack on the go. So these are four of the snacks they provide you and they are extremely tasty. Yeah, really, really good for on the go. So for more energy, let's try this coffee. So yeah, that tastes like coffee. Quite smooth, not very bitter. The sugar obviously helps with that. I'm sure that'll give you a nice little caffeine boost when you're on the go. So yeah, cheers. We're gonna try the chicken curry with rice. We are gonna have the citron cake. We're gonna try out this peach energy drink and also a cup of green tea. First, let's get this open. Oh. It smells extremely strong of curry. It smells very, very pleasant already. Let's get some water in this and get it rehydrating. Wow, that smells amazing already. Let's close that up. And leave that for about 10 minutes or so. Next, let's get our tea on the go. Right, it states this is for 500 mils. I've got approximately half that there in this glass, so we will put half the powder in. I have a love-hate thing with peach flavoured items. They often taste very nice, but they also smell of cat's piss. already feel from here that it's quite a moist cake which is always nice let's break it in half you can see that I can't resist let's give it a little try hmm very moist very thick dense cake a massive hit of lemon, super tasty, super sweet, packed full of the energy you need when you're on the go. This is excellent. Let's give this a peach flavored drink a try. Wow, I'm glad I didn't add all the powder to this. It is very, very sweet. A very pleasant taste of peach. Yeah, very nice. Very feels very hydrating. Super refreshing. That's also great. So let's try that green tea. Nice, refreshing green tea. Green tea is personally my favourite anyway, so yeah, I give that one a thumbs up too. So let's check on this chicken curry with rice. Nicely hydrating there. You see, it looks like a creamy sauce in there. Some really big pieces of chicken. Hmm. 
not quite hydrated yet I've jumped the gun a little bit but it's very nice creamy curry sauce to be honest it's a bit in between a Indian and a Chinese curry in flavor to me it's quite a mild taste there's not a lot of chili in here but there's lots of herbs carrots chicken rice very pleasant very warming yeah I'd be very happy with this if I was out in the wilderness a little bit more of that peach tea to wash it down is there a cat in here which it does very very well so I'm gonna finish this off and I'll bring you back with some more food later on so now we're gonna try a few more of the snacks we have the beverage powder raspberry flavor we have the whole grain biscuits which I'll be trying with some of the strawberry jam and hazelnut spread with cocoa we have some honey barbecue beef jerky some whole rye bread and with the rye bread we're going to be trying the mackerel in tomato and tuna with sweet chili first let's open up the beverage powder and like before we're just going to put half of this in Give it a quick stir let's open this rye bread up first the mackerel in tomato sauce and it looks a bit like a pate let's give it a little try first yeah it's just basically like a mashed up mackerel with tomato tastes very good on its own let's try it with one of these then we have the tuna with sweet chili that does not smell good perhaps there is some there is some oil in the pack when I first got it perhaps it is leaked from this I'm not going to risk it I'm afraid I'm going to throw that one away if you were here you'd know why this one yeah that's really nice the rye bread is very filling the macaron tomato goes well with it a really tasty savory snack there so because we couldn't use the tuna spread yes let's put a little bit of strawberry jam on the other piece of rye bread I can smell the jam from here it smells great Wow it tastes great off the spoon it's got a lovely color let's give that a try mmm really sweet really really strong taste of strawberries in fact I'm gonna put a little bit more on that is a really nice snack very very tasty let's try these whole grain biscuits I've had these before in a Dutch ration pack many years ago and they were quite boring so let's see if they're any better now that's what it looks like it smells like a rye vita let's give it a little try on its own dull stale in fact on its own quite unpleasant but let's try this hazelnut spread with this to see if that can save this awful addition
on its own. The hazelnut spread with chocolate, surprisingly, tastes just like Nutella. Let's see if it can help this awful biscuit. Yeah, it's much better with something on it. I know when they give it you, they give it you for roughage and for to aid your digestion with the extra fibre, but it isn't very nice. So let's try this raspberry drink. Colour looks good. Very sweet. Very nice flavour. Slightly artificial tasting, obviously, but it's a good flavour. It's refreshing. Loads of sugar in there, loads of energy. Right, so let's try the Wild West beef jerky. I've had these many times before. They're always good. You can't go wrong with a bit of beef jerky. Where are we? Have a look inside there. Get a piece out. Let's give that a try. Mmm. Sweet barbecue meaty snack. You can't go wrong. So overall, pretty good snacks. The beef jerky, the mackerel paste, obviously the spreads are very tasty. The drink was refreshing. The brown biscuits, the whole grain biscuits, are awful as usual. But the Nutella-like spread did save it. Some people aren't very keen on the rye bread. Personally, I really like it. However, if you put one of these spreads onto it, I'm sure you can make it more palatable for you. There's a really good range in this menu. You may think we're missing out a main meal in this ration pack as we only have the breakfasts and the curry, but there are so many different snacks which are very, very filling. I think they're expecting you to use those as a substitute for a main meal pouch. Anyway, what did you think of this ration pack? Is it something you would like to try yourself? Have you tried one of these Danish military combat rations before? If you did like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care. Much love. See you next time.